These days, it's pretty much impossible to keep secrets about movies. Oh, you can keep a surprise ending or a cameo a secret if you do it well enough, but in terms of what things will look like or what a movie is even about, impossible. If it's not internet spy photographers reporting on spoilers, sometimes it's the studios themselves. Remember when the ending of Castaway was given away in the trailer for Castaway? But it didn't used to be that way. Back in the day, the only thing you'd know about a movie going in was what the movie studio wanted you to know, which meant that if a studio knew they'd made a movie that nobody would want to see, they could pretty much just lie by keeping the bad parts out of the advertising. Case in point, here's the poster for 1972's Night of the Lepus. Pretty much all you can tell, unless of course you speak Latin, is that it's a scary movie probably about monsters. You've got people fleeing, you've got scary monster eyes in a dark cave, and you've got this amazingly ominous ad copy. How many eyes does horror have? How many times will terror strike? They were born that tragic moment when science made its great mistake. Now, from behind the shroud of night they come, a scuttling, shambling horde of creatures destroying all in their path. Wow. Okay, I want to see that, right? And the trailer is more of the same. What is the terrifying mutant? We barely get a glimpse of the monsters, but we see lots of dead people, destruction, guns, scary eyeballs, and something busting up out of the ground. And look! Legit famous actor people! Cowboy legend Rory Calhoun, Janet Lee, holy sh**, DeForest Kelly! Then you go to see the movie and learn almost immediately exactly what the Lepus is. Yes, this is real. I did not just insert that to mess with you. Night of the Lepus is an actual movie about giant killer bunny rabbits. And what's more, they aren't kidding. This isn't a comedy or a spoof like Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Night of the Lepus wants to be a dead serious, no joke, straight faced movie that uses giant mutant rabbits as an exaggerated metaphor for the plague of rabbit population explosion that was currently engulfing both Australia and the American Southwest at the time. In fact, it actually purports to be based on an Australian sci-fi novel called Year of the Angry Rabbit by Russell Braddon. Except Braddon's book was actually a wicked political satire where giant rabbits were only one element of the mayhem. Lepus pretty much just takes the giant bunny concept and builds an allegedly serious monster on a rampage story around them. For those of you keeping track, that means this project went through the steps of buying the rights to the book, adapting the screenplay, green lighting, casting, shooting, and at no point did anyone seem to have stopped and said, wait a minute, why the hell are we making this? Ladies and gentlemen, attention! There is a herd of killer rabbits headed this way and we desperately need your help! The plot is pretty basic. Some scientists are doing genetic experiments in an effort to stop rabbit overpopulation in Arizona. But when the head scientist's daughter learns that a test subject she's particularly fond of is going to be put down, she switches him with a control animal only to have him later get away from her. Yes, she has essentially set the whole plot in motion. Yes, this gets multiple people killed. No, she is never punished for it. No joke I could tell you about this movie could possibly be funnier than the movie itself, so I'm just going to show you some highlights. Try to imagine what it must have been like going to a theater, sitting down, having no idea what this was going to be about, and seeing this. And this. And this. And this. Here's rabbits attacking a farm. Here's giant rabbits that are not at all regular sized rabbits crawling around in a dollhouse. This is what Elmer Fudd sees on mushrooms. By now, you're noticing a basic problem here. Bunnies are not scary, and no matter how much they slow down the footage and do weird things to the soundtrack, they never become scary. Look, this one is supposed to have just eaten some guy. They put ketchup on his nose so it'd look like blood. See? That's not scary. That's adorable. Here's a scene where the mother and little girl are surrounded by monsters in a broken down RV. That should be scary, right? Well, it's not. You know why? Watch. 
Shockingly, or not, Night of the Lepus did not do well in theaters, and was never actually released on home video for 33 years. For three decades, it would only ever show up on late-night TV, where many viewers probably assumed they imagined it. But in 2005, they finally put it out on DVD so that malevolent movie buffs like me can inflict it on unsuspecting folks like you. And so, Schlocktober continues. Next week, an actually really, really good sci-fi horror movie that I'm almost certain most of you have never heard of. I'm Bob, and that's the big picture. <laughs> <laughs>